that people don't really tell you about exu thanks for clicking on this video hi guys welcome, welcome back to my youtube channel this is me the once again and i'm back with another video Hello. if this is your first time on the channel you're welcome and if this is not your first time you're on the channel you're welcome so today i'm going to be doing like another video on exu and i'm majorly going to be talking about admission exo admissions i've been receiving questions on exo admission why is exo admission not in how when is the admission going to be how i understand the struggles and the frustration pressure on aspirants and that's why i've come i take it upon myself to come here today to come and give my own reasons as to why the admission is not a house and probably when it's going to be out i'm also going to be talking about dress code um someone asked me that like, i should talk about exit dress code and i said i was going to do a video on that so, um disclaimer before we start this video i'm not part of the admission board so anything that i drop here today is based on my own concerns and reasons why i think the admission is not a house without further ado without further ado let's get straight to the video so first of all let's start from the origin the origin of this delay it's because normal normal year extra admission comes out around november december like later is in december november october and that's when a Kutis State University admission used to come out. So why is it not yet out? That's the point. Why is it not yet out by now? This is January. Originator of this delay is ASU. ASU strike. As the whole of Nigeria, everybody used to you know that there was an eight month ASU strike last year. Last year, we experienced eight good months. And EXU was also part of the school that was on strike. Last admitted student in EXU. They have not resumed, officially resumed before that strike. The people that are supposed to be in 200 level, so that people can be in 100 level, they just resumed after the strike. So there was like 400 level, 300 level, 500, 200, 100 level, and then we had 200 level. We resume October. There's no way on head that actually is going to this admission in November. Because we only have two sets of 100 level on ground that they have not moved to 200 level. So one set just moved to 200 level December when we had our second semester exam. I don't think X wants to match two sets together. EXO is not one of those schools that will give you admission December and next year July at all. they've not released resumption date or three months later you've not resumed school. EXO is one of those schools that will give you admission and few weeks later, one month later, you are in school to start registrations. As soon as they give out admission, you can start coming for your registrations. The current freshers they are just writing their first semester exam. They have to be in like at least second semester so that by the time they admit you people, you will come in as fresh students and you start your registrations. By the time they are moving to 200 level, you people will be able to enter as 100 level. I think that is one of the reasons why they have not admitted new students. Just make sure your money is on ground because immediately after admission is out, just come to school to come and start your registration. So another thing I want to talk about is dress code in EXU. Or what are the dresses that we are allowed to wear in EXU? We have three gates in EXU. We have the school main gate, which is the one everybody will see. Like when they come to EXU, they write right AKT State University. Then we have another gate. We have satellite gate. That's the gate that most of EXU students come in through. This is the gate that leads to a lot of off-campus hostel. Then we have the third gate which is UBA gate and those are the three gates next to so at those three gates there are securities the securities will check you in not that they will be stopping you the only reason why the securities will stop you is if you are putting on what you are not supposed to put on if you are you know now let me list one of the things that you are not allowed to do inside EXO number one concerning clothes when it comes to ladies you are not allowed to wear extremely off shoulder. Now, if you put some off shoulder like this, they would allow you to enter. But if you're not off the shoulder, duh, they might not allow you to enter. It depends on the person you meet at the gates. But sometimes you beg them, they'll just tell you to, okay, enter. Don't do that again next time. Sometimes they'll send you back home. But one of those things that they don't allow at all inside the school, except if they don't see you, is short, nika. They don't allow it for ladies and for guys. It's for both genders. On lecture days so on saturdays and evenings like on friday evenings saturdays and sundays that most of the time there's no lecture inside the school they allow you to wear shorts in bedroom slippers is armless and if you'll be wearing armless you have to put on put a jacket on it only big earrings like those big those big earrings are called oops if you have two holes of earrings and you put earrings in the two holes they will send you back the extremely short skirt or short gown but it depends on who you meet at the gates like i said earlier there are sometimes that they won't send you back for short things that sometimes that they will send you back home transparent dresses crazy jeans i can't literally list everything that they don't allow in school things that people don't really tell you about exo if you want to be entering school with all those things that i said they don't allow just have a car that's just the point have a car 
and you come in through main school gate. If you have a car, you will not be allowed to enter through satellite gate, especially satellite gate. They will overcheck you. Things that you'll be needing for your registrations, your attestation letter, a lot and lots of passports, local government attestation letter, your local government attestation would look like this is original jam results would look like so i collected from my campus fellowship just for you to be letter headed with any organization name and then they'll put your name and your job registration they will sign it and most especially just bring every of your documents from home if it comes to the end of the video i'm going to be posting more content on exu like comment down below any question you have or you can message me on instagram i'll link my instagram and do right here just subscribe so that anytime I post another video, you will get notified. Check my channel. I have videos. I have videos on hostels. I have videos on what you need to know before coming to XU, which I speak a lot of teas on things you need to know before coming to XU. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.